In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with prisms. In example A, it says find the surface area of the prism below. So the first thing that you should notice is that this is a rectangular prism because its bases, the parallel faces, are each rectangles on top and bottom. So surface area means how many little unit squares would it take to cover the whole solid. So the way to figure out surface area is find the area of each of the faces, and there are six faces in this case, and then add them all up. So in a rectangular prism, it's nice because every face has a partner. So for example, the area of this top face will be the same as the area of the base below it. And similarly, the area of this front face will be the same as the area of the face that's in the back that we can't even see. So we just have to figure out three areas and know that each of them will count twice. So since all the faces are rectangles and we know that the area of a rectangle is face times height, we can figure out those areas. So let's start with this face right here. Its dimensions are four by 10. So the area of that part right here is going to be 40 centimeters squared. Now let's look at this face off to the right side. Now it doesn't seem like its dimensions are labeled, but if we look carefully, we'll see that this must be 17 centimeters because it's 17 over here. And this must be four centimeters because it's four over there. So that means the area of this face is 17 times four or 68 centimeters squared. And last, let's look at the area of the face on top, which has dimensions that are 17 and right here is 10 because it has to match the edge over there. So we want to do 17 times 10 to get 170 centimeters squared. So what we're going to do now is add all of these up but then remember that each of them had a partner, so we'll multiply our whole answer by two in order to count for all six faces. So when we add them all up, we get 278 centimeters squared, and then we'll multiply that by two because each of them had a partner to get our answer of 556 centimeters squared. So it would take 556 little unit centimeter squares to cover that whole solid. Next, we're going to look at example D in order to practice volume. It says you have a small triangular prism shaped tent. How much volume does it have once it is set up? So in this case, you have to realize that the bases are actually these triangles. So the base is not what's on the bottom in this case because the bases have to be the parts that are faces that are parallel to each other. So those are our bases. And in order to figure out the volume for any prism, we need to figure out the area of the base and then multiply by the height. So in this case, our, since our base is a triangle right here, we know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two where base in this case means this edge right here. So the area of this triangle will be four times three divided by two, because the base and the height are four and three. So that gives us six feet squared. So the area of the base is six feet squared. So we also know that the height of the whole prism is seven. That's what this is. So if you imagine turning this so that the triangle's on the bottom, seven will be how tall it is. So that's our height. So if we multiply those two, we get our total volume is 42 feet cubed. Remember that the units are going to be cubed because we're thinking about how many little unit cubes would it take to fill up the whole tent. And in this case, it would take 42 feet cubes. That means a cube that has one foot dimension along all three dimensions. 
in order to fill up that 